Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 56 of our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about belongs to association and we also implemented a one to many association between students and blocks. In this lecture, we're going to discuss about has and belongs to many association in detail and we will see how this association works. So first we need to understand that what an has and belongs to many association is. So has and belongs to many association is used to implement a many to many relationship between two real world entities. Okay. And has and belongs to many association creates a direct many to many connection with another model with no intervening model, but it requires a joint table to support the association. This association indicates that each instance of declaring model refers to zero or more instances of another model. In our course project, we will implement this many to many relationship. I mean, has and belongs to many association between student and course model. But first, let's understand how it works in real world. In real world, you can see that a student can be enrolled in multiple courses at a time and a course can also be taken by multiple number of students. For example, let's consider Udemy as an example for this. You can purchase as many as courses you want and at the same time, that same course can be purchased by multiple students as well. So this is the perfect example of many to many relationship between two real world entities, courses and students. And we will implement this using has and belongs to many association. Now, since we have course and students model already in our app, we need to create the intermediate joint table to implement the has and belongs to many association between student and course model. The joint table only stores the primary keys of relevant models as foreign keys. In our case, this will be student ID and course ID. And we will create this joint table by generating a migration. But before generating the migration, for creating the joint table first we need to remember few things that how we should name a joint table unless the joint table name is explicitly specified as an option it is guessed that uh, it's using the lexical order of the class names so a joint table between student and courses will give the default joint table name of courses students because c precedes s alphabetically okay so in our case uh, we will create joint table courses students if we create a joint table with name students courses then we have to explicitly mention this joint table uh, in both student and course model i will show you how you can do that however you can name your joint table as students courses as well as i say but in this case you have to mention the joint table name explicitly in the relevant models. The joint table should not have a primary key or a model associated with it. You must manually generate the joint table with a migration. So you need to keep both the things as you can see on my screen in mind while generating migration for joint table. Now it's time to generate the migration for our joint table. But before that, let's see what we have already in our project so here you can see let's save the seed file first i created few courses using seed file now here you can see we have students model but no association with course and we have course model as, as well but no association with students okay now here we need to first define has and belongs to many association in both student and courses model. So let's define that. Has and belongs to many students. Now save the file and uh, write this define the same association is student model as well here you need to mention courses okay now save the file and now we will generate a migration for creating a students joint table so 
let's create the migration generate the migration page g migration create courses students Okay. Now, this command will generate the migration for creating our join table. Let's see what we have in our newly generated migration. So, open the migration file. Here you can see the def change method is empty for now, and the migration name is create courses students join table. Now, in this change method, we need to define that we want to create a join table for our student and courses so just write here get join table and then the association names that we want to make here courses and students now save the file and we need to run migration now get this join table into our schema else db migrate and as soon as this migration runs we will get a join table into our schema so now let's open your schema into your schema you can see the join table here is the join table courses students and it has two attributes that course id as integer and student id as integer so here you can clearly see that uh, these courses students do not have any further attribute or it does not uh, have even an id as well okay we can create only by defining foreign keys here or primary keys of the parent models into join table okay so we created our join table successfully so now what we need to do is next we need to define we have defined the association in both models and that's it now we can assign students to the courses and vice versa and record will be stored into the join table okay so we will do us this assignment using our rails console so let's open the rails console in sales console first we find some students and then assign some courses to them so let's first find the course course one equal to course find one and similarly course two and then similarly course three so we have three courses here let's see what we have in these courses course one is a course name with ruby on rails bootcamp and course two with react.js bootcamp and course three with the name angular.js bootcamp now let's find a student student dot let's first take the ids of the students okay so we have id in sequence so now let's find the first student equal to student dot find okay. now we have faced the first student from database so here you can see the details of first student now we will assign courses to these students so how we will do that first you need to make a collection here and the collection will be student dot courses why because we defined has and belongs to many association in both student and courses so let's write student dot courses and here you can provide course one and you can see that it has as soon as you uh, execute this command student dot courses and then uh, uh, course one you can see that it has created an entry inside the join table okay now if you want to access how many courses this student has assigned so you can check this student dot courses okay, so the first course of the student has been here now you can assign multiple courses uh, simultaneously as well so 
let's assign multiple courses to this student here we will write course 2 course 3 so i made a mistake there so you can do it like uh, student dot courses and course 2 and course 3 just like we insert values inside the array so you can do it like this so when you run this command you can see that two courses are entered into uh, student courses now okay so now if you get the students courses you will get three courses which were assigned to student first now you can do the same thing for students as well sorry for courses as well you can assign a student to the courses as well let's find some course first uh, let's say course uh, one equal to course dot find one okay now how we can assign the students like uh, let's find student two equal to student dot find Similarly, find a student three. Let's find a student four as well. Okay. Now we can assign these student two and three and four to course one. So course one dot students. Student four. So here you can see that uh, this course has been assigned to student one now you can assign multiple here as well student three sorry student four okay here you can see that uh, this has assigned two students simultaneously into course one it means we can we saw that uh, how we can assign courses to students and students to courses using has and belongs to many okay so we understand that how the has and belongs to many works what we need to do that first we need to define this has and belongs to many associations into inside the relevant models or into the models where we want to implement direct many to many relationship and then we need to generate a migration for join table okay and initially i told you that if uh, uh, we need to if we want to name our uh, join table differently like uh, if we don't want to make it in lexical order and we want to make it student courses then we have to mention as an option here like uh, join table and then you need to mention your table name here like uh, students courses okay but if you have proper naming convention or you have followed the lexical order of the uh, model names then you don't have to uh, supply join table as a option here so you can skip in our case but if you generate uh, your uh, join table with students courses then you have to explicitly mention in both so let's repeat once again that what we have done uh, in is this uh, has and belongs to many association that we defined uh, the association inside both student and courses and then we created a join table and then we saw that <coughs> how we can uh, assign students to courses and courses to students and you can do the same thing for any other models where you want to implement this has and belongs to many association but there is one drawback associated with this model uh, with this approach for implementing many to many association is uh, suppose if you want to add any other attributes in your join table then you cannot add that why because your uh, attribute uh, join table does not have any model 
okay and if you want to perform any kind of validation or any kind of callback in your joint table then you cannot do that as well why because your joint table does not have any model so implementing has and belongs to many association only makes sense when you are sure that you do not require any kind of validations callbacks or extra attributes inside your joint table then you can use this model at uh, this association has and belongs to many else there is another model has many throw for uh, implementing many to many using a third model which we will see in next video so you can use that for that case and that is also used for implementing many to many relationship between two models okay so that's all from this lecture now it's time to have some questions okay. what is has and belongs to many association and how you can implement this so we saw this in to our demo here okay and how you should name your joint table we already saw that and by default it must be in lexical order of your model names else you have to explicitly define the joint table name as an option in your model where you define the has and belongs to many association when do you need to explicitly mention the joint table name into model classes what are the possible attributes of a joint table so the po only possible attributes for that is uh, primary keys of the relevant model where you implement has and belongs to many association and how can you insert records into a has and belongs to many association so you can do that uh, uh, like uh, we did in the rails console okay so these are the all possible questions now there is one thing which is remaining uh, for this part that uh, how we can insert these records using browser or using forms so i will show you how to do this using forms when we will develop admin panel into our course project okay but for now i think it's enough to start with hagen belongs to uh, hagen belongs to many association and uh, to understand how it works and what it is in action okay so that's all from this lecture we will discuss another way of implementing many to many relationship into the next lecture so thanks for watching this and uh, let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe